Special Triangles, 45, 45, 90, by Mr. Mack. So if we have a circle of radius 1, and I put two red eye together with a 90 degree angle in between them, I end up getting a 45, 45, 90, right, isosceles triangle. So at this point, you're saying, hey, how about Pythagoras? We can use him here. So we got a squared plus b squared equals c squared. If I'm trying to find the hypotenuse, x, I can substitute 1 in for the legs and solve for x. And I get root 2. So let's try this again. Same thing, except let's make the radius 3. So we still have a 45, 45, 90 triangle and we're going to use Pythagorean Theorem and substitute 3 in for the legs. So we get root 18, which can simplify to 3 root 2. Wow, you're saying. There's a pattern here. The root 2 again. So for a 45, 45, 90 triangle, the hypotenuse equals the leg times root 2. So let's try another example. We have an isosceles right triangle. Therefore, the angles must be 45, 45, 90. So let's say one leg is 5, one is x, and the hypotenuse is y. So x must equal 5 because the legs of the isosceles triangle are congruent. The hypotenuse is leg root 2. So therefore, y equals 5 times root 2. In the check, we can substitute the legs 5 and 5 and the hypotenuse 5 root 2. So we end up getting 50 on the left side and on the right, 5 times 5, which gives us 25, and then root 2 times root 2, which gives us 4. The square root of 4 is 2. 25 times 2 is 50. 50 equals 50. Check. So let's try one more problem. We have a 45, 45, 90 triangle, except this time we know the hypotenuse is 6, and we don't know the leg. So we're going to use the same equation, substitute 6 for hypotenuse, and solve for x by dividing root 2 to both sides. But we need to do something called rationalizing the denominator, which means I need to multiply root 2 top and bottom. This gets rid of the undesirable root in the denominator. So root 2 times root 2 is root 4. Root 4 simplifies to 2. 2 goes into 6 three times. And we have our final answer, 3 root 2. Now let's check this. 3 root 2 are my legs and 6 is my hypotenuse. So I'll substitute this in, and I get 18 plus 18 equals 36. Check. So I hope you enjoyed our little tutorial on special triangles as much as I did. Bye for now.